Today on What's Next, we'll be answering your questions. Hello, this is Vivek Goel. I'm Vice President, Research and Innovation and Strategic Initiatives at the University of Toronto and a professor at the Dalalana School of Public Health. This U of T podcast will be giving you ongoing updates on what's next for the pandemic from my perspective. Hi, my name is Lisa Lightborn. I'm a part of the creative team behind What's Next. We've been getting a lot of really great feedback from listeners, and more importantly, questions from you. So today, Vivek will tackle just a few. The first question comes from underscore Alia underscore K, who is actually hoping to go to U of T. Alia asks, what will summer and fall be like? I can only use one word to describe this, unpredictable. What we do know is that we're not going to be back to normal by the summer. We will certainly still have our physical distancing requirements in place. There will certainly be limitations on mass gatherings, such as concerts or sports events. And we will continue to need to be practicing good hygiene. We'll still have to wash our hands frequently. We may also have requirements to wear masks. We do know that in the coming weeks, the restrictions will start to lift and we'll be able to move about more freely. Many businesses will be allowed to reopen with appropriate precautions in place. Next, we heard from G. Salani Ten, a fourth year neuroscience and cognitive studies student. And they wanna know, can I visit family and friends or go for a scenic drive? It is okay to visit family particularly those that are alone, but you have to stay under the gathering limitation for your jurisdiction. In Ontario, this is five. Please remember to stay six feet away from the person you visit. And if you're seeing someone who's at high risk for COVID-19, please wear a mask. Going for a scenic drive is a more complex issue. While you are alone in your vehicle, you run the risk of having an accident, which could put a strain on the health system. As well, you have to stop to refuel where you may interact with others. This is an example of something that's not really essential that you shouldn't be doing. Our next listener asks, how long does the virus live on objects and do I need to clean groceries, restaurant deliveries and clothes? Research shows that the virus does not survive for very long on inanimate objects. As long as you're washing your hands frequently, and practicing precautions like not rubbing your face. You don't need to be cleaning everything as you bring it into your home. Any virus that might have gotten onto those objects will not survive for very long. And finally, we heard from Kat Virol. Katarina is a third year undergrad architecture student stuck in Toronto and unable to fly home. Home for her is Switzerland and she asks, Can I go home to an international destination and come back in the fall? This requires careful consideration. First of all, there are very limited flights available to most parts of the world. Even if you can get somewhere, you're likely going to face a quarantine where you go. And you'll likely face a quarantine when you come back to Canada. There may also be visa issues for some students. So it's very important to check on what the requirements are for the jurisdiction you're going to, as well as what the requirements will be for you to come back to Canada. This is Vivek Goel. Next, I'll talk about reopening. 